Is Anki a useful resource to use in medical school? Yes. Does it work for everyone? Absolutely not. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Julia and I am a fourth year medical student. So in this video, I'm going to discuss Anki, an app or program that is commonly used in medical school. It is a resource that is very, very popular. So if you have not, you will certainly hear about it when you start medical school. I wanna start this video by saying, by no means is this a tutorial of how to use Anki. So if you are looking for how to become an expert anki -er or how to make great cards, how to use Anki, this is not the video for you. The purpose of this video is to give a brief general introduction as to what exactly Anki is and to give a cautionary tale of wisdom and advice of exactly why Anki might not work for certain individuals. There are amazing resources and videos on exactly how to use Anki and become an expert in that aspect, so definitely feel free to look those up. So let's jump right into this video, you guys. What exactly is Anki? So Anki is a flashcard based program that basically helps you remember things easier. We all at some point have probably used flashcards before in our life and Anki is the mobile or online based flashcard program that basically helps you memorize things. It has the capability to include images and videos and other features that really help you create and use high quality flashcards. The Anki desktop versions for computers are available for free. However, the mobile app that you can use on your other devices is $24.99 total cost. So I'm gonna show you guys a brief video of what Anki looks like in the platform so you can see what I mean by flashcard based system. So this video is showing the desktop version of Anki. You can see that I have multiple decks of flashcards organized by content. So different decks have material specific to what I was learning. You can click on a deck, it'll show you the amount of flashcards and you can begin to study. Each flashcard will show up and you click show answer to test yourself and see if you were correct. And then you click again, good or easy, depending on how you felt the level of difficulty was. The level of difficulty you selected will put your flashcards back in the deck either more frequently or less frequently. So if you select it again, the flashcard will show more frequently to make sure it is solidified in your memory. Or if you clicked easy, it'll show less frequently, being that it assumes that you know that concept. You can see that there are high quality images that you can attach to flashcards as well as videos. So that was a brief visual demonstration of exactly what Anki is on the desktop version. As I stated, you can also use it on your cell phones, which many students use because it is mobile, it is on the go, and you can go through flashcards rapidly on your clinical rotations or in between classes, and it makes it easier to get through a bunch of flashcards quickly. The mobile version is pretty much identical to the desktop version. So you guys can see here my Anki app, the question at the top, the answer and the image, and the level of difficulty across the bottom. So in medical school, the curriculum is very intense and rigorous. You are receiving high volume material very quickly. So an app like Anki is very useful in that you can quickly get through hundreds and hundreds of flashcards in a quick amount of time so that you are seeing and reviewing a lot of material at the pace that you are receiving it in medical school. A great thing about Anki is that you can make your own flashcards or you can download decks of flashcards that are already pre-made from other individuals. Making your own flashcards can be very helpful in that they are going to be specific to your curriculum at your medical school and there is a learning process that occurs when making your own flashcards because you are directly seeing the information and organizing it with the question and answer. So there is a learning component to that. However, making flashcards takes a lot of time. And as you will see in medical school, you do not have much time. And making your own Anki flashcards might result in you not having enough time to actually review the flashcards that you've made. So using pre-made Anki decks and flashcards is very helpful in reducing the amount of time it takes to make your own. However, you have to be very careful because you want to make sure you are getting the material that is specific to the tests 
in the curriculum at your medical school. So whether that be using general decks that are out there in the med school reddits and universe and complementing it with your own lecture material to make sure you are learning the specifics of your lectures or using pre-made decks by individuals in your own medical school or in your own class to make sure that the material is spe specific to your curriculum. Many people do many different things that all might work. So just be sure that you are learning the material that you will find on your test. So what exactly do medical students use Anki for? So as I've discussed, there's a high volume of material being thrown at you in medical school. So Anki can really help break it up, can help you digest the information, can help you memorize all of this volume of material being thrown at you in a quick turnaround time. Because in medical school, you are being tested either every two weeks or every three weeks. So Anki is a resource that medical students have found effective to help do those things. So then what is my issue with Anki? So here's my issue with Anki, you guys. And obviously this is personal experience and anecdotal information. I have not done the proper studies and trials of medical students on why Anki does not work. However, what I can speak to is my own experience as a medical student, especially as a graduating medical student who has tried many different resources throughout the four years and I found what worked for me, what didn't work for me, Anki being one of them. I've also heard of many individuals who confirm exactly what I'm going to speak to in this video as why Anki did not work for me as well as those individuals. Let me be very clear that it's not a problem with Anki and the resource itself which as I've described in this video can be super, super helpful. And I absolutely believe that Anki works in certain areas and for certain things in medical school. So what do I believe that Anki works well for? I believe that Anki works well for the memorization of clear cut, concise facts. This includes things like anatomy lab, seeing an image and being able to identify what structure the arrow is pointing out purely memorization. Drugs, memorizing the mechanism of action of drugs or the contraindications of this drug or that drug. The names of different medical things or miscellaneous genes in genetics. My overarching point is that Anki is memorizing things. It's a flashcard based app. It is to memorize a lot of stuff very quickly. The issue comes in is that Individuals believe that they can anchor their way out of gaps in fundamental knowledge and understanding. This happened to me, you guys. Everybody's coming into medical school at a different level on the playing field, right? Some people might be coming from undergrad, some took many gap years, some are coming from a non-medical or non-scientific majors. So everyone's understanding of the fundamentals, the foundations, the biological sciences, physiology is different. While the first semester or the first year of medical school is usually focused on the foundational sciences and making sure everybody's on the same level playing field before beginning organ systems, this is very variable and everybody comes in and stays in with a different level of understanding. So if you begin using Enki because 90% of your class does and they swear by it and they think it works for them and they're doing well on the test so you believe I have to do what they're doing and you're not finding the same level of success there's another issue here. There's an underlying something that's not working for you that needs to be addressed. This is exactly what happened to me in my first year of medical school when I tried to use Anki to memorize all of the material that was being thrown at me, but I failed to address the underlying foundational knowledge that I was not understanding at its core. So I was getting all of these lectures throughout the weeks and I was reviewing them, doing the Anki flashcards, but not really going through the material and making sure I understood that stuff, making sure that I was consulting outside resources or watching videos to make sure I really understood the concepts at their core before jumping into Anki and trying to memorize the flashcards. A flashcard, no matter how effective it is, is going to be very difficult in teaching you the pathophysiology of something or a very complex concept if you don't already understand it. 
right? So if you rely on a flashcard to teach you that, you're going to have to see that flashcard a hundred times and still maybe not even get it. Whereas if you spent the time to go learn that concept, and then once you actually get it, you can use the flashcard to make sure you memorize it and that it's at the front of your brain for the test, then that is the effective strategy of Anki. Some people skip the step of actually learning the concept and jump to memorizing the flashcard. So then when they see questions on a test that is directly testing the understanding of the concept, rather than the various miscellaneous facts that they might have memorized in the Anki flashcard, then you find individuals who are not actually reaping the benefits of Anki and are not performing well on their tests. That was me, you guys, in my first year of medical school, and it took me months to figure out what exactly was wrong. I was trying different Anki decks. I was trying every method making my own flashcards, using general decks out there in the universe, using classmates decks. Nothing seemed to be working until I actually took a step back and reflected and was like, Julia, do you know this information before you start trying to memorize these flashcards? And only until I kind of dropped Anki and really focused on my understanding of the material did I see improvement in my scores. So believe it or not, I did not use Anki after my first year of medical school, except for very specific circumstances. And those were anatomy lab for the Pixarize Anki decks. So that was just memorizing um, the Pixarize pictures, which is another resource. But I did not use any decks or flashcards for any material specific contents in the curriculum or for any of my USMLE board prep. For me, I had to really alter my study habits and strategies in medical school compared to how I studied in undergrad and grad school. And there had also been a delay taken for my gap years in me being hardcore in the foundational science classes. So I had gaps in understanding that needed to be addressed. So I found ways to do that and to get back into the swing of studying and how to study and figuring out what kind of learner I am in medical school. And I found ways to do that without Anki and it worked for me. All of that to say, Everyone is different, you guys. Every medical student is different. Everyone learns a different way. So please, 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 as much as you can try to focus on yourself and run your own race, put your blinders on to what your peers and your classmates are doing and what is working for them and focus on and invest in finding what works for you. Be willing to trial and error different resources. By no means am I saying don't try Anki. I've reiterated multiple times throughout this video that Anki has a place and it can absolutely work if used correctly. However, the point of this video is to caution you that if you find that it is not working for you, then there might be some underlying issue as to why and that needs to be addressed. Don't force a resource on yourself if you find that it is not working, including Anki, no matter how much people swear by it. So I will leave you guys with a story of how I truly realized that Anki was not working for me. So I walked into an exam in my first year of medical school and I was confident, you guys. You couldn't tell me that I wasn't gonna pull out a 95 on this exam and that I was ready. I had reviewed the Anki deck probably five to 10 times. I knew every flashcard in and out. There wasn't a slide on, on any of the lectures that I didn't know and I was ready to beast this exam. I started the exam on my laptop and the first question came up and I don't remember obviously the specific of what exactly the question was, but I absolutely remember that there was a concept in it that I immediately recognized from the Anki deck and the flashcards. The issue was the question, how it was phrased, I could not make the correlation between how I saw it in the Anki flashcard to how it was asked in the test. And I was like, Oh, like I've seen this topic. I remember the, the, the flashcards that address this topic, but the question was not 
the specific fact as to how I had studied it in the flashcards and I was unable to like make the connection because I knew all of these random facts on these flashcards but I didn't know the understanding of the concept and it was asked a completely different way so I was looking at the answer choices like I don't know like this didn't come up in the flashcard so I sat there for minutes and wasted time and was trying to make those neural connections somehow and eventually just had to use my best guess or my you know best judgment based on the knowledge that I did have from the flashcards and chose an answer and moved on and I found that in that test I was doing that repeatedly and repeatedly and the same thing happened and I didn't do as well and I was totally flabbergasted you guys so this is the point is that I didn't truly understand the concepts and I could know an Anki deck I could know 500 flashcards in and out but if you do not at your core understand the concepts of the material that you are learning and be able to be confident in those to be able to answer questions about those concepts to test your understanding not to test your recall or your regurgitation of the facts then you will not find success or progress in your scores. Also guys, just be aware of your USMLE board prep. Step one is the more clear cut, concise, factual test, I would say, in which Anki is very useful and just memorizing a bunch of clear, concise medical knowledge. However, comes your third year shelf exams and your USMLE step two, those are absolutely more understanding and medical judgment and knowledge based tests. So be very, cautious and aware in your use of Anki and making sure that you're using it in conjunction with already having a solid understanding and base of the concepts. All right, so that is my spiel for you guys on why exactly Anki did not work for me and how I really had to go through self-reflection of understanding what exactly was going wrong and addressing the underlying gaps in knowledge that I had in order to really maximize on the usefulness of an app like Anki. If you guys have any questions at all, please drop a comment below. I will get to all of them. Give this video a thumbs up if you got some value out of it and be sure you're subscribed. You don't wanna miss this content, right? I'm dropping gems here. So be safe, be well, love you family. See you next time.